Are we thankful that we don't have to do those things or thankful Jesus came to do them? Because I believe there's an enormous difference. See, one is self-centered, which is where a lot of us live our lives if we're honest. We're constantly counting the cost, which is important, but we're rarely calculating the reward. Or even more, a lot of us really struggle just to rejoice in the majesty of who God is and the good that He's done, not just for us, but for others. Have you noticed that we rarely read the Bible to see who God is and what He's done? We read it to see what He might do for us. Right? We've made the Bible one big allegory. We read it and say, oh, he slayed David, slayed the giant. That means he can slay my giants. Oh, he healed the sick. That means he can heal my sickness. It's not about us. It's God telling us who he is and showing us his heart and showing us what he desires. When was the last time you and I read Luke 7 about the widow who was on her way to the funeral of her son and she was already a widow. Now she loses her only son. Jesus comes along and is moved with compassion. He sees her and his heart is moved for her and he raises the young man just because of his compassion toward her. Toward her. How many times do we read that and we're overwhelmed for her? Like we watch movies and get moved by the story, but we read the Bible and want to know when it's going to happen in our lives. Right? We watch movies and they have nothing to do with us. A lot of times they're not even real. And we get goosebumps and we shed tears. And we, you know, and it's beautiful. I can't, it's, I'm so glad it worked out for them. And then we read the scripture and we don't even see a widow being moved, moving the heart of God. Instead we say, when do I get my resurrection? When do I get my compassion? When do I get this for me? We have made it so much about us and we can't actually rejoice in what God is doing in the lives of others. We've got to learn how to read it for what it is and see God. Because if I know He's faithful, you know what He's going to be? Faithful. If I know He's good, He's going to be good. If I know He's with me, He's going to be with me. I don't have to make it about me. If I make it about God, He will apply it to me according to His character, not according to my understanding. 